AI, social media and polarization. Navigating through filter bubbles and echo chambers. Have you ever noticed that social media often serves content tailored perfectly to your preferences? It's like a cozy echo chamber where everything aligns seamlessly with your existing beliefs. This phenomenon is the work of AI or artificial intelligence. So how does AI decide what to show and what to hide? Are you even aware of this digital curation? These questions lie at the core of the filter bubble phenomenon. Filter bubbles act like invisible shields meticulously curated by AI. They create snug cocoons where we're shielded from diverse perspectives. But do these bubbles protect our comfort zones or hinder the expansion of our horizons? How does this personalized content influence our perception of reality? The Cambridge Analytica scandal of 2018 was a significant moment in recent history concerning the use and manipulation of data analytics, our data privacy and the digital ethical framework. The company collected private data from millions of Facebook profiles without consent and used it for political advertising. It was accused of illicitly obtaining Facebook data and using it in various political campaigns, including the Leave EU Brexit campaign. This scandal highlighted how AI-driven data analytics can target individuals with specific messages, potentially exacerbating polarization and promoting divisive rhetoric. A study published in Nature suggests that the Google search engine doesn't inherently generate biased results. Instead, politically polarized individuals tend to click on links from partisan news websites, leading to self-segregation. This implies that escaping online echo chambers is possible, depending on user choices. While the study primarily focused on search engine algorithms, it also emphasized the role of user behavior in shaping information consumption and opinions. Filter bubbles give rise to echo chambers, spaces where like-minded individuals congregate to share their views, creating an echo of agreement. It's comforting to hear familiar voices, but can also enable polarization. Why do people actively seek out these echo chambers, and what perpetuates their presence? So do these chambers impede our ability to engage in constructive dialogue with those who hold differing views? It is a digital dilemma we must confront. But here's the twist. AI doesn't operate in isolation. It keenly observes human behavior, learning from our likes, clicks, and shares. Its objective is to please, and it excels at it. The crucial question is whether AI merely reflects our desires or actively shapes them. Are we solely responsible for our digital diet, or should AI share some accountability? As filter bubbles and echo chambers continue to expand, so does polarization. These digital spaces magnify our differences, often blinding us to the validity of opposing viewpoints. But is this the digital landscape we truly desire? What is the societal cost of this polarization, and how does it impact our online and offline relationships? Can we discover common ground in a world where AI amplifies our differences? The power to bridge these divides resides within us. It begins with awareness, Recognizing AI's role in shaping our digital experiences, we must be active participants, not passive consumers. So, what steps can we take to burst our filter bubbles and venture beyond our echo chambers? Can AI be reprogrammed to offer a more diverse menu, supporting a healthier digital ecosystem? The future is ours to shape, and we have the power to guide our digital path. What kind of digital world do we envision for the generations ahead? Will we continue to use AI in a way that enables division, or will we employ it sensibly and wisely to bring us closer together? As we contemplate these questions, we should think and reflect on how we can facilitate a more connected, empathetic, and harmonious digital world. The choice is in our hands, and the decisions we make today will shape our future.